Hello everyone, Pop-Tart here. Welcome back to the Aeroteam channel. Today I'm joined by Mind again. The Hello. Designer of this sexy aircraft. And spaceship. And spaceship. Mostly spaceship. If you couldn't tell yeah, by the title, hard. today we're going to be showing you how to build our uh, White Knight 2 and Spaceship 2 by Virgin Galactic. And, ooh, nighttime. So this is the uh, White Knight 2, uh, which is the carrier aircraft for Virgin Galactic's uh, Spaceship 2, which is this uh, spacecraft right here. It is a... It uh, performs uh, powered suborbital flights, I believe? Uh, no. Uh, yes, it is suborbital, yeah. but it does reach space uh, past the Karmon line. Uh, what is that? 100 kilometers? Oh. Uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so yes, it's, uh, this is the, uh, if you want to know specifics, this is the Scaled Composites Model 339 Spaceship 2, uh, manufactured by Scaled Composites for Virgin Galactic. The, uh, White Knight 2 is Scaled Composites Model 348. Um, yeah, so, quick look around the build, we have, uh, landing gear for the White Knight 2 here. It has a very interesting landing gear setup as well, where it has the nose gear, obviously, and then a single, um, set of, uh, rear landing gear at an incline for both sides due to the, uh, thin fuselages. Kind of a unique... Uh, set up. These are the uh, Pratt and Whitney PW300 engines. Um, 308 to be even more specific. 308, that's right. These, well, they're the PW300 series. So these are the 308s that the White Knight 2 uses. Four of them, two on either side of the aircraft. As you can see right here. So this is the connection point where the um, uh, overwing of the uh, White Knight 2 connects into the um, uh, Spaceship 2, which will then be dropped out uh, once it's reached the required uh, altitude for flight. Uh, yep. And then it's powered in the back here by, I believe it is, I'm pretty sure it's a special engine, uh, which is the reason why this spaceship is so special. Uh, I think it is a, a hybrid uh, engine uh, using both a, both um, solid rocket fuel and uh, liquid rocket fuel. Mm -hmm. And then the important part about this spaceship is, of course, the fact even though uh, it does not go uh, orbital, uh, it does go to space, which means it is uh, its goal is to carry passengers to space and give them the effect of space. I did actually make a video on this thing a while ago uh, on my own channel about how it works. It's unlisted now, but it basically uh, it's going to uh, give flights to space for around $6,000. It's pretty cool. So, it's for $6,000. And it's still in testing, but I believe it's almost out of that phase. Uh, it has had quite a few setbacks, though. Also, another important thing to note is that um, uh, this paint job that we have here for the Spaceship 2 is actually the um, paint job of uh, the VSS um, the VSS Enterprise, which was the spacecraft that crashed during a test flight in late 2014 I think it was yes uh, I believe that it yeah. was that and sadly it was the co-pilot who died correct I believe so um, yeah so one one pilot was unfortunately killed in the crash the other um, escaped severely injured but yeah so the VSS Unity, which is the new Spaceship 2, has a slightly different um, paint job, most notably with the vertical stabilizers and the underbelly with um, 
a different uh, kind of fancy blue. Um, as well as under the wing. Un under wing, yeah. So it would have a different paint scheme. But this it's is a the, much shinier thing. Yeah. So this is the uh, VSS Enterprise. So the, with the Virgin Galactic logo up front, um, Virgin Galactic text running down the side, and uh, Virgin text on the vertical stabilizers. Same goes for the um, White Knight 2 here. Virgin on the vertical stabilizers and the company logos and everything. So yeah. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add about the... Uh, um. Just about the spaceship in general. Yeah. Um, what's actually interesting about this spaceship is the fact that uh, the the way this came about actually uh, was from in around the 1990s. Uh, th there was this uh, he, uh, guy uh, named Peter. I'm forgetting his last name, uh, but he basically. His main goal was to encourage uh, a race in space, a new one, and a new frontier. Uh, so he basically figured out a way to uh, get a bunch of people on board to donate $10 million. And those $10 million would go to the winner of the competition. And the competition was who could get to space the first. Uh, and not just to space, but with a reusable uh, capsule that can carry... Uh, two people uh, and so the original white knight one and um, uh, and spaceship one uh, were built by uh, scaled composites is the company correct uh, yes scaled composites. Um, and that was originally built and it did win uh, the competition so it ended up earning 10 million dollars uh, and it, it was sponsored by uh, Bill Bill Allen is his name. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not Bill Allen. Um, uh, he died last year. Paul Allen. Um, yes, Paul Allen. Yes, thank you. Anyway, so it was uh, ended up being sponsored by uh, Bill Allen. Uh, Paul Allen. Got it wrong Paul again. Allen. Yeah. Yeah. Confusing great people of aviation. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so it was sponsored by uh, him uh, and uh, built by uh, scaled composites. It, there's a whole story behind it, and there's a whole book behind it. Uh, if you read it, I'd suggest to read it. Uh, it's called How to Make a Spaceship. It's pretty good. Uh, so after they ended up winning the $10 million dollars, uh, Richard Branson came on board, branded it um, Virgin Galactic. Yeah, he wanted a completely new design based off of the same premises. Um, I believe it had actually already been in the works, possibly. I forget if that's true or not. But that's anyway, that's sort of a bit of a short history of where this thing came from. Uh, and it, my, has it like really gone through a lot of testing and a lot of like variations and everything i'm just excited to know that it's so close to flying passengers to space that i mean we may see it in the next year yeah incredible developments mm -hmm. but that's about it for my history lesson nice so for the build, we're going to be building the um, uh, White Knight 2 and Spaceship 2 separately. Um, so I, I will show you how to build the White Knight 2. I'll show you where to start if you want to build the Spaceship 2 as well attached to it. And then afterwards I'll show you uh, how to tidy up the connection between the Spaceship 2 and White Knight 2. Yes, because due to the way blocks work in Minecraft, yeah. we were able to improve the design right here so by using stairs. Accurate. This is more accurate, uh, but we could not include that here uh, or on the actual 
uh, connection point because uh, stairs would uh, go too low. And that would just not work out. So it's a bit of a compromise, unfortunately, due to the building physics of Minecraft, but it still turned out pretty amazing in the end. Mm -hmm. And I guess before I go, because this is probably where I'll be going, um, we would like to get some viewer submitted, or um, not viewer submitted, but um, player submitted videos for the ch uh, YouTube channel on here. So if you, you're a subscriber, and you play on this server, then uh, you can end up uh, going to our Discord server, reading about the posts that I have about submitting videos to this to get posted, uh, because we would like to be more inclusive with the community. And we, Pop Tart and I also would like to, even though I'm not a fan of giving out designs and tutorials, I feel like these sort of designs, the one-off planes that that you'll know who's done what, uh, we're going to try to do a few more tutorials on these. We've already got another one set up, correct? Yep. Anyway, I think that's where I'm supposed to head off. So, ciao. Good luck. See you later. And again, all of that uh, information, uh, the server, dis our Discord, all of that can be found in the description below if you're interested in joining the Aero Team uh, or the uh, JCTV Discord server, rather. Um, so yeah, without, with that out of the way, let's jump straight into the tutorial. And we'll be starting off with uh, White Knight 2. So, to build the White Knight 2, uh, before I get started, actually, uh, the dimensions for this build, um, the uh, White Knight 2 uh, is obviously larger than the Spaceship 2, as it's the carrier aircraft, so I'll be using these dimensions for the overall build. So, this is uh, 25 blocks long and 43 blocks wide, if you're wanting to figure out um, uh, where you can put this build. Uh, or if you're just building the Spaceship 2, the Spaceship 2 is 18 blocks uh, long by 13 blocks wide. Uh, Spaceship 2 is uh, 5 blocks tall over there, and White Knight 2 is 7 blocks tall. Uh, so those are the dimensions for this build, just in case you wanted to know. So let's start out with the uh, White Knight 2 fuselage here. I'm going to build one of these fuselages and then uh, show you where to start the other. So we will be starting... Let me grab the materials I need. And I don't have... Yes, I do. So, uh, quick texture pack note before we start. Um, uh, in the Aero Team texture pack, again, this can be found in the description below. Uh, purple stairs and slabs are um, a wool material. If you're using the Aero Team pack, then go ahead and use that. If you're in default or some other thing, you can use quartz or really whatever suits you, as long as it's a white texture like this. Um, so, also, I will be using a dark oak trapdoor for this uh, shaping here. That is a uh, stone brick in the Aero Team pack. If you'd like to use a just an iron trapdoor in default or whatever, that works as well. So we'll be starting, if you want to build this on the ground, we'll be starting uh, exactly 1.5 blocks off the ground with this. First thing we're going to do is place down a dark oak trapdoor right here. Again, this is if you're building it on the ground, you will want two blocks of space right here, and that will line up with this first layer that we're starting with. Um, if you're not building it on the ground and with landing gear, then you don't have to worry about that. So, we'll place down that trapdoor first. Going back, going back here, excuse me, we'll be placing two nether brick top slabs, and then ten top half of, uh, wool slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like so, or whatever material, material you're using. 
Uh, that will do it for this uh, first layer here. We're, we're just going to be doing this all in one go uh, because the layers are so small. Um, also, I'm going to be adding the vertical stabilizer on afterwards because it's kind of overlaps layers. So, after that, a nether brick slab on top of that trapdoor. Uh, we'll grab uh, snow, place down six layers here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That will give kind of a three quarters block uh, impression here for the shaping. Uh, a block of wool behind it with uh, acacia buttons to the side if you're using the arrow team pack. This is a nice uh, black texture for the buttons. Uh, for the uh, window detailing of the uh, fuselage. Uh, stone buttons work if you don't have this black button texture. Again, that's just another thing to note. I'll be using acacia buttons as I'm in the uh, arrow team pack. So after this wool block, we'll place down two more blocks of wool, grab a nether brick stair, place them down uh, like so, then a light blue concrete behind, behind each right here. That will be the Virgin Galactic uh, logo. Throw that away for now. After that, we'll have uh, seven wool blocks going back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a perfectly symmetrical uh, fuselage, so you don't have to worry about any inconsistencies. Uh, after that, we'll place an upside down uh, stair going back like so. Then uh, two slabs going back right here. And then from this uh, first wool stair here, we'll place six uh, wool blocks going back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like so, so that should fill up this gap that's right there. Then uh, we'll grab levers, we'll place one underneath the first wool block, leave a space of one, and place another. Make sure these are flipped so they're facing backwards, like so. And then uh, two, wool uh, two top slabs going back, like so. And start to see the... Um, uh, layering coming together there. And now for our next layer, let's throw away the levers because we won't need them again for a while. Uh, above this second wool block here, we'll place a uh, top slab right there. Take a stair, place it facing backwards upside down like so. Uh, grab snow again. Uh, that's carpet. Here's my snow. Then uh, the snow will be two layers out to the side of this um, stair. So again, that's two layers of snow. Then a half slab going back. So after this um, slab here, we'll place an upside down, not an upside down, a normal stair going back uh, like so. Then an upside down stair behind. And um, this will be a window in the side of the fuselage as well. So now going back from here, we'll place two white wool going back from both of these upside down stairs. Then a uh, stair facing backwards like this. Four nether brick slabs going back from both of those stairs. Uh, right here in this, um, uh, in, in between these two stairs, we'll place black wool there. That will fill in this window detail, give it a bit more uh, dynamic. Then apart from that, we're going to fill in the rest with uh, wool all the way back up here to these last uh, nether brick slabs. Then we'll grab light blue concrete, place that right there on top of the um, uh, wool block. Again, this is the uh, Virgin Galactic logo. 
then uh, one wool uh, of right there, and then three uh, half slabs going back from it. Now for the last layer of the fuselage, what we're going to do is grab our buttons again, and starting on top of this uh, upside down stair here, the one that forms our window, we'll place two buttons going back, uh, grab snow, place a double layer right there, then we'll form a 3x3 three three box with our half slabs, and then a double layer of snow behind. This will form the uh, wing box. This is where our uh, wings will go out from. And uh, that does it for the main fuselage. Now to put on the um, uh, vertical stabilizers, what we're going to do is... Let me just clear out my inventory quickly because it's a bit of a mess. I'll grab these. And so starting from where we have these uh, two exposed half slabs here, uh, actually I made a slight mistake. We're going to knock out these two upside down uh, or top half slabs right there and replace those with nether brick half slabs for uh, Virgin Galactic lettering. So now from here, let me just grab black wool to make my life easier. From this bottom slab here, we will skip a block and place a black wool there. Uh, upside down wool stair there. Then uh, underneath here, actually back from this black wool, a wool there, and then underneath these two uh, top slabs. Like so, so you should have something like this. Back from this half slab on the next layer here, we'll place two wool going back two black wool going back, a nether brick stair on top of the first um, uh, black wool, then yeah, then a wool behind right here, stair on top, and a block of wool going back, and then a half slab underneath. This will finish off your vertical stabilizer. Then just throw a stone button on top there. Now for the horizontal stabilizers, coming out from this nether brick stair here, we'll place, taking our uh, wool slabs, or white slabs or whatever you're using, uh, two top slabs coming out from that nether brick stair on both sides, and then three afterwards. One, two, and three like so. That will do it for your horizontal stabilizers and the uh, entirety of your fuselage for the White Knight 2. So, because it's a carrier aircraft, now we get to do that all over again. I'm going to uh, build the other one off camera. You can um, fill it in. So, there will be a gap of 15 blocks between uh, the fuselages. Um, so, starting from this first trapdoor here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. This is where you'll place your uh, first trapdoor that you started the fuselage with. And now we just get to rinse and repeat. So I'm going to uh, build the other fuselage up and I'll see you afterwards. So now that we have our second uh, fuselage pasted in, a gap of, again a gap of 15 blocks between, should look something like this. So for the next part, uh, actually before I continue, let's grab end rods and place two going forwards from this um, nether brick slab here. This is only present on the right fuselage, um, or on the right aircraft body airframe. Um, on, on the right one. Uh, it's not on the left side. So again, that's two end rods going forwards from that um, uh, nether brick slab on the second layer. 
And so next what we're going to do is connect these um, two fuselages with the uh, center wing. So let's start from the, the, uh, this 3x3 uh, three three wing box here that we'd started. Going from the back, we'll place three slabs, then three more. We'll place a slab, a full block, and another slab. A top slab going out from here, a, an upside down stair, and then a slab out to the side, like so. For your next layer, uh, three top slabs. Here's where it starts to get com complicated, where we have this uh, connection coming into play here. Again, this is the connection that would uh, clamp onto the uh, spaceship too. So, we have our three top slabs here, then three uh, blocks here, three full blocks that is, with three top slabs underneath, then out to the front and back we'll place a top slab from this bottom one and then a half slab on top like so, and then fill in the center layer here with three top slabs right there, a, uh, let's see, and then a stair right there facing forwards, connecting into the side of that uh, half slab, then another one facing backwards right there. That will finish up the connection point. Then we'll grab a snow, place, or a layer of snow, place three down the center, right there, and then one out to the, to the uh, inside. Now you can repeat that on the other side. This one I am going to do on camera. So, uh, again, this is, I'll be going uh, from the back to the front. So that's three half slabs, three half slabs, slab, full block, slab, upside down stair in the center, um, top slab out to both sides, then three top slabs, then three full blocks, three top slabs underneath, and then your double slabs right there. That will do it for the center wing apart from this snow layer right there that I almost missed. So that will uh, do it for you. That should uh, connect the two fuselages. If you didn't, then you didn't start with a 15 block gap between the fuselages and that will probably need to be fixed. But uh, if they didn't meet, then congratulations, you didn't mess up. And yeah, so that's the center wing done, and I'll be continuing right along with the uh, outboard wings. So uh, I'll be continuing starting with the left fuselage as I have been. So back to front, as always, three wool slab here, uh, three more uh, half slabs. Now here's where we build our Pratt & Whitney Canada PW300 engine, or the uh, 308 as mine reminded me. So under here, uh, we'll be placing a top slab underneath that last, uh, or that first top, uh, half slab we placed. Upside down stair facing backwards right there two wool going forwards from that upside down stair, grab your stone slab, place a stone half slab on the front face, stone half slab underneath, and this will be the engine cowling right here by the way. Now a red sandstone uh, slab in the aero team pack, this is a dark blue, and Next, two top half slabs uh, going back, and that will do it for your Pratt & Whitney PW308. Now continuing on with the stair, 
and uh, not continuing on with the stair, excuse me, uh, continuing on with the wing. Um, three more half slabs coming out right here. From the back, two half slabs now. This will leave a gap of one in the front. Um, I'm on the wrong layer. Just three slabs there. Two uh, wolf slabs. Or two half slabs is the what we'll be doing next. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So now underneath these um, uh, second set of three uh, half slabs, we'll repeat our Pratt & Whitney engine again. So half slab, upside down stair, two wall forwards, leave a half block space, two stone slabs going down like so. Uh, red sandstone slab underneath, or a purple slab probably if you're using default. might look a bit weird, but uh, it'll be somewhat blue. And then two top slabs going back right there. And that will do it for your second Pratt & Whitney PW308. Here's where we do the uh, two half slabs. So from the back, leaving a space at the front. Now a uh, bottom slab up here and a top slab in front of it giving this staggered shape will be this is be the start of the uh, wing flex going up right here so uh, bottom slab top slab going forwards two top slabs two top slabs and then from this frontmost top slab uh, just four top slabs going out. One, two, three, four. That will do it for your wing. And I suppose I might as well mirror this one on the other side as well myself. So uh, you can do it however you want as long as it's mirrored. You can follow along or mirror it on your own. So again, this is three half slabs three half slabs. I'll be going a bit faster this time. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll be going a bit faster this time just to um, make sure things are uh, hurried along. And uh, if you need if if you need time to look at anything, uh, feel free to pause the video and have a look as well if I'm going a bit too fast for you. So yes, we have our two layers of three uh, half slabs here. And we'll start our Canada PW308, PW top slab under there, purple stair, or wool stair facing backwards, two wool going forwards, drop our stone slabs down there, red sandstone slab underneath, and then two wool uh, slabs, top slabs going back, two more layers of three underneath this last layer. Top slab, stair, two wool going forward, two stone bricks, or two stone slabs there, red sandstone slab, and then two wool going back. Really a nice and easy engine to build, but uh, very fun. So that is your fourth engine, so all of the engines on the aircraft are now built. So now we just have to continue out the wingtip. So that will be uh, two wool slabs from the back there. Again, leaving a space at the front, as we did on the other side. Half slab and a top slab going forwards. Two by two of your top slabs, and then four uh, top slabs out from this forwardmost block. One, two, three, and four. And this will do it for the wings of your White Knight 2 aircraft. So next I will show you how to build the landing gear if you are building this on the ground. And uh, if, if you're not building this on the ground and you're building it in the air, then you can continue right on to the uh, Spaceship 2 tutorial. Timestamp in the description below. But for our landing gear, for the White Knight 2, what we're going to do is grab, let's see, armor stand. We will need iron leggings and iron boots. Ah, uh, let me just throw all of this away. Now here comes the tricky part of the landing gear. As you can see over here, we are using this custom player skull. Um, 
if I find the um, specific um, uh, slash give command for this exact wheel, I can put it in the description below. Uh, if you don't see anything, that's because I couldn't find it. So you can uh, search for any um, wheel looking player stole on any good um, stole site uh, like Fresh Coal or Minecraft Heads or whatever. So I'm just going to grab this player stole. If you can't find anything good or you're not in creative mode or you don't have cheats or whatever, um, I imagine you can use a wither stole. It, It'll, it'll look a little bit off, but it'll still have the feel that you're going for. But anyway, so I have this player stole right here. We're going to place it down right there. Uh, this is underneath the first top slab, uh, or the first uh, wool top slab of our first layer here. Throw that away for now. Next comes the tricky part. So, we need to get rid of this half slab here, and this wool as well. Just throw all of this away. So, on top of- when you've knocked out these here, uh, you'll place down the armor stand on top. It should drop down like so on top of the stool. Give it iron leggings and iron boots. That will add more detail to the um, uh, landing gear strut just to fill out the shaping. So next we need to fill these blocks back in obviously. So um, if you don't have world edit this will mess up the armor stand a little bit but it is possible to do in survival. If you do have world edit I really recommend just using that. I'll show you how to do it without world edit first here. We'll place uh, two pistons facing in from the side right here. Um, I unfortunately had to jump cut, so I have already removed this um, uh, stair here, as you can probably tell, but you'll want to remove that stair as well so that you can access it and just fill in your blocks like so. So again, you'll want you'll be filling back in the blocks you broke, the top slab and the full block on top, and then give those power in any way you need. Like I said, it will shift the armor stand off to the left a bit, unfortunately, but you'll have the strut still present. But now let's do it the way that won't mess everything up, which is always the nicer way to go. Uh, again, this requires world edit and um, access to commands. But um, what we're going to do is just grab your full blocks here and select those with your wand and slash slash move. Um, that will shift those all into place and you're good to go. Again though, that requires world edit to do, which is annoying, but yeah. So once you have those uh, center blocks filled in, uh, make sure to replace the upside down nether brick stair. And once you have that all in place, that will do it for your forward uh, uh, nose gear. So for the back landing gear, it's a bit different. They are uh, stock here. Well, actually, I lied. Uh, you need an upside down stair right there. And that will do it for your nose gear. So, um, that is the um, uh, flap, I believe, uh, that will cover the no nose gear when retracted. So now that does it for your nose gear. So for the uh, rear landing gear, what we'll do is we will leave a space of one, two, three, I believe it is, of these top slabs. Indeed it is. So uh, skipping that stair, obviously, uh, one, two, three of these knock out that uh, slab right there, not that one like I did, uh, but this one, the fourth top slab. Place a, an upside down uh, wool stair there, knock out this next one, grab your stone brick stairs, 
place uh, one upside down face backwards right there. Uh, that will form the sports strut. Then we will place a black wall underneath that uh, stone bridge there. That will form your rear landing gear. And uh, place buttons on either side. That will form the uh, uh, side of the wheel. And that does it for your landing gear. So I'm just going to mirror this onto the other side quickly. Again, first um, uh, wool slab there. Knock these out. Grab your player stole. Place it down in the center right there. Or your wither stole or whatever you're having to use. Armor stand on top. Iron leggings. Iron boots. We can throw these all away now. Then... Place these out to the side here. Move those back in. Upside down nether brick stair right there to fill back in, and your upside down uh, wool stair for the uh, flat cover behind it. Space of one, two, three. Knock these two out. Upside down uh, wool stair there. Stone brick stair behind it facing backwards, black wool underneath the stone bird stair, and your buttons on either side. And there you go. That is your uh, landing gear for the White Knight 2, and that completes it for this aircraft. So now that you have the carrier aircraft finished, if you'd like to move on to the spaceship 2, we will be building that next. Uh, if you're building just the uh, White Knight 2 with no carrier aircraft attached, then uh, you are done with this tutorial. And um, if you are leaving now, I would like to mention then before the end of the uh, video, if you have built this, please make sure to give credit to the Aero team for designing the aircraft. We put a lot of work into all of our aircraft and spacecraft like the one you see in front of you here. And it would mean a lot to us if uh, we were given credit for our work. So uh, with that out of the way, uh, we will move on to Spaceship 2. Now one thing I neglected to mention is that you will of course need to uh, start building at a certain point for the Spaceship 2 if you want to build them both, or if you want to build the Spaceship 2 connected to the White Knight 2. And for that it's actually pretty easy. So uh, in the upcoming tutorial segment I will show you where to place this um, uh, Dark Oak trapdoor here. And for this, if you're building it connected to the White Knight 2, uh, all you'll do is take placeholder blocks and from this uh, stair here on the connection point, place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 forward, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks down. Now this is the block that you'll be starting on, and you will place your trapdoor right on top, right here. Make sure, again, six blocks forward from this, then four down, and you will start on top of that point when building the spaceship too. And if you do that correctly, then everything should connect in nicely to the White Knight too. And with that, I uh, let's continue on, and I'll see you with the Spaceship 2 tutorial. Alright, so for Spaceship 2, uh, much like uh, White Knight 2, this will start two blocks off of the ground if you are uh, building it on the ground. Uh, it's, the nose is essentially the same structure as White Knight 2, so this may look familiar and will be easier for you if you're building, if you've just built the White Knight 2. So, make sure you have a gap of one underneath. This will be two blocks off the ground. And we will place a Dark Oak trapdoor to start with, as we did with White Knight 2. So, now after this, we will place 11 nether brick top slabs going back from it. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. On top of this stone uh, or dark oak trapdoor up here, we'll place a nether brick half slab. A grab your snow layers here. Place one, two, three, four, five, six, as we did up with the white knight too. Block of all behind. Buttons out to the side like so. Again, uh, we will be using acacia buttons for the black buttons in the arrow team pack. If you don't have the arrow team pack or black button textures like this, just use stone buttons. Um, now, behind this wall, we'll place another wall going back from this, or out from this rather, to nether brick upside down stairs. Uh, facing forwards, grab your light blue concrete, place one behind each of those stairs. Behind the uh, this light blue concrete, uh, three wool going back. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Grab your black wool. And uh, here's where it does get asymmetrical a bit, so I'm probably going to have to remind myself as to which way it goes. Alright, so, uh, this is because, um, here, I'll show you after we've built it. So, on the right side of the, uh, fuselage, we'll, we'll place three black wool going back, and then a light blue concrete. This is because this is part of the company logo that says Virgin, and then text lettering expands to the right saying Galactic. And in order to keep that, um, not mirrored and still accurate. We'll, on the left side, we'll start with the light blue concrete there and then grab three black wool. In case you didn't get that, it should look something like this. So once you have that going, um, grab your upside down stairs, place two going back from the uh, or what we've just placed. I suppose it's not a black wall on either side now. So, place two upside down stairs drawing backwards. Uh, on the inside here, we will place three wool going back like so. From the, uh, just from this upside down stair there, that should fill in that gap. And lastly, we'll just drag wool all the way up to the forward area of the aircraft to fill that in. Now, on top of the second wool block here, we'll place a top half slab, an upside down stair going back from it, a uh, double layer of snow out to either side covering up that light uh, blue concrete. I keep wanting to say light gray for some reason. Yeah, this is light blue concrete, not light gray concrete in case I have uh, already slipped up. I'm not actually sure. So, after this um, double layer of snow here, we'll place a, uh, s actually seven slabs going back from it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven wool going back from the stair right there. Then a stair facing backwards right there. Then two wool slabs going back. And now to finish off the fuselage, grab your buttons again and have two black buttons starting from this uh, upside down stair right there. Again, this is for window detailing on the spacecraft itself. And that does it for the fuselage of the Spaceship 2, apart from uh, grabbing end rods and placing two going forwards from the nether brick slab. And once you've finished that, we can continue on with the wings. So, starting underneath the uh, light gray concrete here for the left wing, take nether brick top slabs all the way back to the end of this first row here, so it's in line there. Uh, then we'll skip two blocks right here, then place six top slabs going back. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
skip this, uh, another block here, just one this time. One, two, three, four, five. Should give you a shape looking like this. Skip another block, this time we'll switch over to our wool top slabs. One, two, three, four, five, and six going back this time, so it should overhang by two. Now we'll continue up with the vertical stabilizer. So, um, actually let's fill in with carpet first. So grab white carpet, and basically giving a, a block on each side, you'll fill in the top with white carpet. So skip one, one, two, three, four. Skip one, one, two, three. Should look just like this. Now on top of this uh, top slab right here, place two half slabs going back. Throw that away for now, don't need it anymore. There we go, that should do it. Just need to reorganize uh, my inventory quickly. So continuing on here, we're going to place next a stair facing forwards, like so. One wool behind, and then two black wool going back, then an additional two white wool behind. And on top of this first black wool here, we'll place a half slab, a white half slab that is. Uh, two wool going back, and then two black wool back from it, like so. Next up here, on top of this last white wool, skipping a space of one, we'll place a nether brick half slab a black wool behind, and then one wool behind. Right, so, so you should get something looking like this. And then continuing on from this, what we're going to do is fill in the horizontal stabilizer here. So we'll skip this first uh, nether root slab here, and then place coming out from here, uh, actually just going back, not coming out. So we'll place two half slabs like so, and then one from the one out from the back most um, uh, half slab there. So you should get a curve like this, and then we'll place a nether brick slab coming back from this uh, wool right there. And now to finish off the uh, stabilizer here, we'll place a nether brick half slab on top of that first black wool block, and then two wool going back. That will do it for your uh, vertical stabilizer. And basically we just rinse and repeat this process on the other side. So skipping a space of three here underneath this light gray concrete, we'll bring nether brick half slabs out to the back again. Skip two, one, two, three, four, five, and six uh, nether brick. Uh, top slabs, skip one, one, two, three, four, and five, skip one, one, uh, with the white, uh, wool slabs, that is, one, two, three, four, five, six, switching over from the, uh, black slabs, good thing I caught that. Uh, then grab your carpet again, skip one, one, two, three, and four, skip one, one, two, three two wool half slabs, a uh, stair, like so, wool block back, two black wool, two wool, a half slab on top of the first wool block, two wool, two black wool, a skip space of one, nether brick half slab, black wool, wool, nether brick top slab, nether brick top slab, and two wool back and then fill in your vertical stabilizer with, starting from this uh, uh, black half slab here. Two half slabs and a slab out. And that will do it for your airborne spaceship too. Uh, next we will just um, add the landing gear if you're building it on the ground. If not, you can skip ahead to, um, or building it on the ground, um, on its own, that is. If you are building it attached to the White Knight 2, then you can skip ahead to the uh, attachment and you will be good to go. So to add the landing gear for the Spaceship 2, again this is only if it's on its own like this and on the ground. Uh, 
but to go ahead and add the landing gear, what we're going to do is, uh, for the starting with the nose skid, it's a bit funky and requires some world edit trickery, just be warned for that. Um, I'll show you the world edit version first here. So knock out this half slab, uh, place a nether brick half, uh, not a half slab, a nether brick upside down stair facing backwards like so. You'll need to replace those six snow layers here. Um, here's where the world edit trickery comes in. We'll grab our replace tool. Um, you can still probably set up something that looks uh, similar without world edit, but it's it won't look as good. But just just be aware of that. Keep that in mind. So we'll grab our replace tool here, take an upside down, uh, not an upside down, a lever facing backwards like this, select that, go underneath and paste that in right there. So it gives you this um, uh, leg support coming out, and then we'll place another one on the ground facing into it, and that's literally all it is to the nose, nose skin. Uh, again, if you don't have world edit, something like that will probably have the same um, implied um, skid feel, but it won't it won't be the same without world edit. So if you if you can and you have access to world edit, then I encourage you to use it. But if you don't, that should work. Anyways, that's what we have for the nose skid. Also, another thing to note with this is, and for this I'm going to actually jump cut here and paste it above. So another world edit note, this is only if you're building the landing gear extended on approach and in the air. Um, this won't be visible when on the ground, but if you would like to, you can also grab an upside down button, or a bottom face button, this acacia button, or the, the black button in the arrow team pack. You can select that and paste it underneath the uh, bottommost lever, and that gives the um, black uh, heat shield um, underside of the nose skid. That's just something I wanted to point out quickly if you are building this on approach and in the air. Uh, I am not though down here. Um, just wanted to point that out for you if you're interested in that. But that does it for the nose skid. So now for the rear landing gear, we have to do basically the same thing that we did up there with the White Knight 2. For this, I'll start on the left side here, we'll knock out these uh, first two uh, half slabs here. Place our player skull down there with your wheel texture or your wither skull or whatever you're using. Uh, as detailed with the White Knight 2 nose gear. Now this is a bit different though, we're still using an armor stand, but what we're going to do is place the armor stand on top facing inwards, like so. I can get it a not angle, that's probably good enough. So it'll be facing inwards towards Spaceship 2 here, and instead of giving it armor, what we're going to do is leave it as a stick figure like this basically for the uh, strut detailing, and we're going to give it a pair of uh, elytra. And what this is, is that's the um, uh, landing gear panels that would fold in into the underbelly when uh, deployed, or not when deployed, when retracted, excuse me. And so you will see the uh, panel uh, out, and that's what the Elytra is for. So now we need to fill in those two blocks that we broke again, either with World Edit or the piston trick I showed earlier with the White Knight 2 nose gear. World Edit won't mess up the armor stand. Um, if you don't have access to creative commands again, that piston trick will work with the cost of making the armor stand a little bit wonky. But that does it for the main landing gear. Pretty simple process. So we'll repeat that on the other side here. Player stole, armor stand, 
I can hit it at an angle that's not weird. That did enough. Elytra and your blocks replace like so. This will do it for the Spaceship 2 landing gear. So, uh, congratulations, you have just built the Spaceship 2. Now on to the last part of the tutorial where we will be uh, joining the White Knight 2 and Spaceship 2 and you will be done. So, for the last part of the tutorial, if you have been building the fully assembled, um, uh, both the White Knight 2 and the Spaceship 2, and you uh, have finished everything, this is what you should have. And luckily for us, joining the two, or finishing off the connected detailing is an incredibly easy process actually. For this, we just need our wool stairs. And what we're going to do is find this middle row here of wool. This is our first uh, full block here. Then after it, skipping that one, we'll break one, two, and three full blocks. And then just place stairs in their place facing outwards like so. That finishes off the connector detailing. Same thing on the other side like so. And that will just about do it for your White Knight 2 and Spaceship 2. That, that should all be connected and you are golden. And thank you so much for building this tutorial and uh, again as mentioned earlier uh, if you have built this please make sure to give credit for the Aero Team. We put a lot of work into all of our aircraft and recognition for it would mean everything to us. So just a sign on the build or anything saying designed by the Aero team. And that would help us out a lot. So thank you so much for building this aircraft. And, um, or aircraft and spacecraft, I should say. And yeah, that's just about it. So. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.